What's up guys, Andrew here from Tom Goods Media. On today's episode, we're going to be cooking essentially chicken stew. It may not sound exciting or anything, but trust me, if you couldn't think of anything else to do with chicken, this recipe has got your back. It's foolproof and it just works every time. And it also helps that it's super simple to make. So I've got here some boneless chicken thighs. Now in this recipe, you could use bone-in chicken, which I would prefer because when we cook with chicken bone-in, it's usually more flavorful and the meat is just juicier because of that bone. But anyway, we'll use this for now. Let's just season both sides with salt and pepper and make sure to season them well. I've also got some wine here and this is what I'll be using for later. You could use any red wine you prefer but I would suggest to use cooking wine or any cheap wine would be perfect for this dish. To actually get the sauce started for the dish, we have to make some sort of sofrito which is basically a blend of vegetables that we're gonna caramelize. And this is gonna give the dish that delicious richness that you wouldn't get by just making the sauce straight up. This gives the dish its character. For the sofrito, we're gonna julienne some white onions, carrots, and some garlic. You could add whatever else you like, maybe some bell peppers would be good here too. I've also cut the other carrot into big pieces and did the same with some potatoes. So first, we have to sear the chicken to develop some fondant in the bottom of the pan. The fondant will make our sofrito super flavorful, so don't skip this step. Make sure you have a pan heating with some oil, and make sure that it's almost smoking. This will make sure that the chicken doesn't stick to the pan. Now, drop your chicken skin side down, because they might end up sticking to the pan. Let the chicken brown first before flipping it. Now just cook the other side for about a minute and you can remove this and transfer them to another plate. Do this for all your chicken. Now that there's a lot of fond in the bottom of the pan, we can now drop our vegetables and just try to scrape every bit of it so we get all that flavor. Saute this until the vegetables are nice and caramelized. I splashed a bit of water here to deglaze the pan, but if I were you, just go straight ahead and add your wine up here and do so. I've added about a half a cup of wine here and deglazed the pan fully. Just mix this all up thoroughly. Once that's done, you can now add your chicken pieces. Add about a cup more of wine and cover this and cook for about 30 minutes until the water from the chicken seeps out. It's been about 30 minutes and we can now add our carrots and potatoes. Just cook this until they're tender. Add about a cup of water so that the potatoes and carrots cook. It only took about 15 minutes for them to cook for me. Now let this reduce and thicken. Once the sauce is almost thick, add a cup of tomato sauce and mix it thoroughly. Once it's almost done, just add a knob of butter here just to make the sauce nice and glossy. Mix it all up and your dish is done. Also, don't forget to taste the dish for any additional seasoning. Time for the taste test. This dish is super simple, yet it tastes so complex. The flavor of the wine really blends well with the chicken. The sauce has thickened up well and it's just rich and flavorful. The sofrito we made really did its job here to give that nice caramelized flavor. The chicken is super tender and I should get more rice at this point. You should try this at home and let me know how you like this recipe. That's it for this video. If you have anything you'd want to see me cook, just let me know in the comments section down below. And as always, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is Andrew from Tom Goods Media, signing off.